wake up from what you thought was a nightmare only to discover that it's only too real. Welcome to day 16. Joyous. Now here's the thing. He didn't... He left our inventory intact. You open the lock on the chains easily. It seems your foe has underestimated you once again. It does seem odd, though, that he didn't bother to remove your backpack. Why did he leave us the hammer and take stake the here? Stake and stake its claim in your pack. Why would he give us these? You pick up the heavy hammer and store it in your pack. Why would he give us these? This is important. Very important. It doesn't... You hear the sound of voices on the other side of the door. It's barred on the other side, but you can see and hear the two guards through people in the door. What's going on in there? The master didn't say nothing about guarding no prisoner. It's the enemy guy's orders. So what? He gets something to do. I don't like it. I think Adabee's guy's trying to pull a fast one on the master. She's not gonna like this. You wants to go down there and tell her? No way. Then shut up! Let's see, all sorts of nice toys here. There is something large under the water that is either lonely or hungry. We don't want to find out which. We can't go there. There's nothing here but death. That door is sealed. We can't leave that way. All that's left is here. Looks odd. Why would Adavis give us these tools? Why wouldn't he remove our pack? Now that you look closely, there does seem to be something a bit odd about the design of the Iron Maiden. We take a deep breath and step inside. You are in a lady's richly decorated bedroom. The coffin where there should be a bed seems a bit out of place. But there's no accounting for tastes. Why would he leave us one room away from Katrina? In contrast to the lushness of the other furnishings in this room, the plain desk and chair are obviously functional and frequently used. Why would he give us this chance to kill her? For those of you who don't know, please attend carefully. Assuming I can get a new save. What happens if you kill a vampire lord? Taking a deep breath, you place the stake over the vampire's black heart and pound it in with three mighty blows of the hammer. You stared at the lifeless corpse in the coffin. You never thought that killing a vampire would be anywhere near this easy. dominion over me. You did precisely what I wanted you to do. Destroy Katrina. So nice of you to cooperate with me. Don't do that, you idiot. 
can kill her, awaken her, cup of feel, or now's your chance. You lean over the open coffin and kiss Katrina long and hard on the lips. Suddenly you find yourself totally unable to move. What? What are you doing here? How did you get in here? You dare to kiss me? How dare you? You break into my home, steal away my child, kill my servant, Toby, and then return to kill me? After I befriended you and helped you, some hero you are. I should leave you here to rot. I should let the wretch gnaw your bones while you hang there. Give me one reason, one excuse why I should not leave you here to die. Rule 34, anyone? By the way, um, I've actually looked. There is no Rule 34 of Katrina. Internet, I command you to do it. Now! <laughs> Replace. Now this is important. It came to me many years ago to learn from the one called the Dark Master. What he did not know was the Dark Master was a woman. He was quite appalled by the fact. He challenged me to a magical duel and lost. I made him my servant for 50 years, until I grew bored with him and turned him loose. But I had bitten him, and he knew that on his death he would rise again as a vampire under my command. He has served me since the night you defeated him. He hates me, and he is waiting for the opportunity to drive a stick through my heart. But he cannot harm me unless I harm him first. So why did you attempt to destroy me instead of your old enemy, Adavis? Do you fear me that much? Your reversal spell is wearing thin. Thanks, game. By the way, very, very, very important. He cannot harm her until she harms him. I want you to know what it is like to be helpless. I want you to feel what it is like. To know your enemy has a weapon and you can't do anything to stop them from killing you. I want you to know what it is like to be tracked away, never again to see the sunlight. Then perhaps you will understand why I have done what I have done. Then maybe you will realize why I needed someone who could walk openly in the daylight, could talk and make friends with people. Why I wanted your help. She sounds very betrayed. Also important. I am a vampire, yes. I am a powerful magic user as well. I am also a woman. I was attracted to you. I have never met anyone like you. I trusted you. Then you destroy the child I loved and break into my home to destroy me. How could you? Why? I summoned you here to Mortaria. Adavis told me how you defeated him, and I needed someone resourceful and powerful. The summoning spell was interrupted by the magic from the Dark One's cave, and you appeared there. I opened the cave mouth and hoped you could find your way out. I tried to make you think that I was a real woman, someone to talk to and be your friend. You don't know how long it has been since I have had a real friend. I wanted your help. That is why you are here. Now you only need to know what I want you to do. You will help me. No matter what, you will do what I want. Does that satisfy your curiosity? Then why don't you satisfy mine? What were you trying to prove by opening my coffin? Very important details. She feels betrayed. And other stuff. 
Let's see here. Why not? Your reversal spell has worn off. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Do you really expect me to believe you? I bet you say that to every girl who chains you up and holds a whip. You would tell me you love me and then break my heart with a wooden stake, no doubt. You protest that you were only trying to kiss her in the coffin. Who do you think I am? Sleeping beauty? Wake me up. Why did you break into my home and disturb my sleep? Truth now, before I lose my patience with you. I try to explain what you're doing in Katrina's bedroom. Yeah, this will end well. Trying to find an exit from the dungeon? Just couldn't pass up a chance to look at the helpless vampire, could you? Funny place to look for an escape route, wasn't it? I have decided that I still have a use for you. Alive. If you help me, you may still manage to leave Mordavia without my mark on you. I want you to seek out the five missing Dark One rituals and return to the castle. Together we will summon the Dark One and bring it. Eternal night to this land. You will help me, won't you? Or must I take more drastic measures to assure your obedience? You tell Katrina that you'll do anything, anything at all, if she'll just let you go and not rip your throat out. Very well. But because I can never completely trust you, I will make certain you carry out my bidding. By my will, I guess thee. Thou shalt seek the heart ritual of the Dark One. Thou shalt seek the blood ritual of the Dark One. Thou shalt seek the breath ritual of the Dark One. Thou shalt seek the bone ritual of the Dark One. Thou shalt seek the sense ritual of the Dark One. Return with these rituals ere three nights pass, unless ye suffer. Thus is your guess. So go and return with the rituals soon. I would not want you to suffer. 